first of all, I, I can't say how great of an event this was. Um, I enjoyed meeting the people. I enjoyed signing cars, which was always something I always liked. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, you can do it. but when I was on the Viper Corps program early Gen 1, Gen 2, I used to travel about every six or eight weeks. I would go to a Viper Club around the country. Uh, I'd leave on Friday night, spend Saturday with the club, fly home on Sunday, uh, took a little presentation with me, about to go on a uh, drive with the members of that club and did a presentation at dinner and after I did the first one the clubs started writing in to sometimes Bob Lutz and sometimes just my boss saying well we're doing a, a club event you know, two months from now can Sandy come out and spend time with us so I did several of those through the first stop. Uh, Gen 1, Gen 2 program, and I loved every one of them, and this just brings back memories of when I was actually on the Viper team doing this type of event. It's, it's fantastic. People are great. I love the cars. I never get tired of looking at them, and it's just something that I, I hope I can do more of. What did you think of the event today? I think it's fantastic and it's a beautiful event. I like the excited people and everyone is happy to be here. The signing cars left and right. Making me feel like a lot of stuff. You think that they're all going to get those clear coded signatures? <laughs> You think that they're going to clear coat the signatures? I would hope that they would with how, how pivotal you guys were in, in basically designing the car that they built this whole culture around. Where's <laughs> the I saw one of the uh, one of the models out there was like a rare sort of race track version of it. Can you tell me anything about that? I, it looked like it was straight off of the track. It was. That's that's a non-production vehicle that was specifically built for a Viper Racing. Uh, Viper Racing League. Mm -hmm. uh, not not exactly GTSR. It was never intended for by A racing or anything like GTSRs were. But it's more of a, a general. How would you say that the uh, Viper community has evolved from when you guys first launched the model to today since it stopped production? Do you think it's gotten stronger or do you think... I think the buyer I think you get a more sophisticated Viper motor today. The um, mystery, there's so much uh, uh, excitement and goodwill around the new kid in town that uh, as many people who were serious sports car drivers or owners uh, were interested in the car, you had at least that many uh, celebrities that wanted uh, the latest. Either way, the demand was pretty high at the time. And, uh, I think it's evolved into a pretty sophisticated community. Do you would you say that there's any any particular model that you're fond of more than more than the others? Any any ones that you have a, a soft spot for? That's so hard to tell. I mean, um, as being part of engineering, I was building and testing packages. Uh, marketing merchandising part of it that, that develops the colors and, and uh, the marketing packages just sort of happen in the background. Uh, I don't really have a particular favorite. I kind of love them all. They're all just amazing. Alright, any, uh, any shout outs or uh, something that you'd like to say to the camera while I got you here? <laughs> I'm sorry, anything, anything about it. Do you want to say? You know, I'm a kid from Detroit. I was born in Hill and Park, just like the Viper was. And uh, I am just humbled by the perception of this car and this package. Uh, and, and, and events like this have happened all over the country. And I'm, I'm humbled and honored to be able to represent uh, all the people I worked with over the years to make this car happen. Awesome, perfect. I understand. So, what did you think of the event today?
very nice event. A lot more cars, honestly, than I expected, particularly the Vipers. Something like 63, was it? I think it was 62 or 63, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a great turnout. I mean, oftentimes don't see that anywhere else. Uh, a lot of different variations. The owners are all typical Viper owners, very enthusiastic, very positive, love their cars. So it's always good to hear.